Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Riley and today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the Prada Logo Loafer shoes. Um, I did just get them pretty recently. I haven't been able to wear them outside of the house yet because of the weather conditions here in Toronto. These are the Prada Logo Loafers that came out, I believe, in about spring, summer of last year, and they pretty much immediately sold out. I believe the first round they came out with the small logo in gold, and a little bit after they put them out again in a silver logo, and that's the one that I got. Even those ones sold out pretty much right away, but um, there was a store here in Toronto that did restock them at the beginning of this year, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on the correct size. So these are really, really beautiful. They are a really special shoe, and I'm excited to show you guys. Please stick around for the end of the video where I show you how to style them as well. shocked when I saw these shoes for the first time. I really feel like Prada created these shoes just for me. I will show you guys the shoes that I was previously wearing and I've been wearing them almost every day for the past few years now and they're actually from Forever 21 which is crazy. I have never purchased shoes from Forever 21 but I was actually in London with my boyfriend and the Forever 21 was on clearance shutting down. I thought that I would go in and check it out and I found these shoes on a rack. I think that I paid, you know, 20 pounds or something for them and they are so beautiful. I get complimented on them all the time and you would never know that they're from Forever 21. Not to mention they have a held up through everything. I've worn them like I said, every single day for years now and they are really just my staple shoe. And these are them. So they're just a plain black patent loafer, but you can see they're in pretty good shape considering I have worn these, you know, I wore these to a festival one time that was on a beach. I didn't realize that I was going to a festival that day and it was on a beach and I was there for hours and they are just honestly an amazing loafer and at this point you could call them a dupe for these Prada loafers and you know other brands are coming out with similar shoes nowadays as well. Now, if you're watching this video and you think that you need to spend all of your money on getting a pair of these Prada loafers, don't put yourself in debt buying luxury items. There are other shoes in the market that are just as beautiful truly. I love these Forever 21 shoes very very much and I've even seen many other brands carry a platform sold loafer so you can really really achieve this look no matter what your budget is. I'd also like to compare these shoes to another loafer that I have and this is another very popular loafer when they came out however I do consider them a classic and this is the and this is the Gucci Jordan loafer. So I will do a comparison of all three loafers that I'm talking about just to give you a good idea of what the Prada loafers are like in terms of the width and also the platform on the bottom. Without further ado, I will show you now the Prada logo loafer. Here is the beautiful box that it came in. And here they are. They are truly, truly beautiful. More beautiful than I expected, to be honest. I really was expecting a little bit more of um, a thicker width, but they're actually quite thin. And I'll just go ahead and do a comparison first with the Forever 21. Now, please keep in mind that I have worn these to death, so at this point they might be a little bit more blown out than when I first got them, but here is a little comparison of these two shoes. In terms of width, you can see that they are a little bit thinner. 
but again these ones have been worn so much that they've probably blown out just a little bit but you can see the soles are actually quite similar in size so this is what I'm saying, you know, when I say you don't need to spend all of your money on this one if you can't afford it, you can easily achieve the look spending, you know, around $20. So that's great. And now a comparison with the Gucci Jordans. The Gucci Jordans are very thin, I will say, in terms of width, so you'll see the difference here. And then there is no platform on the Gucci Jordans. These are completely different shoes, as you can see. Both loafers, but they give you completely different looks. In terms of sizing, I am a 38 in the Gucci Jordans. And in the Prada loafers, I am a 38.5. I will say that's true to size. I'm usually hovering somewhere between 38 and 39, really depending on the shoe. So... I found 38 for the Gucci was perfect and 38.5 honestly was perfect for the Prada loafers for me. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that this is a really great shoe that you can immediately purchase and start wearing right away. There is no need to protect the leather as it is a patent. In my opinion, it doesn't need anything. These will hold up really well. No matter what the weather, you can wear these in the rain. I would advise that you don't as much as possible, but if you do get caught in the rain, they will be completely fine. Not to mention, there's no need to have them sold because they do already have the rubber sole. I'm mentioning that because you cannot say the same with the Gucci Jordans. The Gucci Jordan, in my opinion, is necessary to have them sold upon purchasing. So they do come with the wood sole and it is necessary to take them into a cobbler to have them resold or else you're going to wear down that wood over time. Also with these shoes, you cannot wear them in the rain, in my opinion. I've really seen these shoes be completely beaten up before. So I think it's necessary to keep these in sunny weather only. So you cannot really wear these right away and they do take a few steps in order to have them be wearable whereas this one is just a much more durable everyday easy to wear shoe and I really do see myself wearing this daily I can't wait for the snow and the slush to leave Toronto so I can wear these as much as my little heart desires to the grocery store because that's the only place that I go to while we're in lockdown Something else that I wanted to discuss was the comfort level of these shoes. So I do find them very comfortable. That being said, I have not worn these outside of the house yet. Like I was saying, it is just not the weather to wear these right now, unfortunately. That being said, when I first put them on, they were definitely tight, but a loafer really should be in the beginning. These will stretch just a little bit as they are leather. However, they should be really snug to the foot upon wearing them. They are very, very tight through the middle here. In fact, I can feel that this strap is quite tight you know, like I said, in, around the arch of the foot. I wouldn't really recommend these to someone who had a bit wider feet. However, I have heard that you can have these stretched. That being said, you do risk cracking the leather in doing so, but that might be a good option for you if you do try these on and you find that they are a little bit too tight, like I said, just around where this band is. However, I do find these being quite comfortable for me. I've kind of worn them around the house a little bit and while they are snug, I don't really see them giving me too many blisters. However, like I said, they are leather so we'll see how that goes. They are very, very stiff. I mean, I really can't even push down the back of the heel. So hopefully they will be okay. They are quite supple though, you know, when I, when I press in here, they're quite soft. So I think that they're going to be okay. And of course they will be worn in the more that they are worn. So I'm really not too concerned when it comes to comfort. You know, I'm not really one to buy in too much to trendy pieces, especially when it comes to trendy luxury pieces. I really prefer to purchase something that can be worn again and again and again throughout the years. Uh, that's also just kind of more my style is to wear more classic pieces that I can wear year after year after year. And even though these shoes have just 
just been released and I'm sure that you can't even scroll through your Instagram without coming across some fashion blogger wearing these shoes. I do see these being worn, you know, throughout the years, even though they are that chunky heel trend that we have going on right now and they're a little bit edgy. It still really is my style. Like I said, I've been wearing those Forever 21 loafers for years. So this is why this shoe really did make sense to me, even though it is quite the trendy piece of the moment. I do know that I will be wearing these for years to come. Now let's talk about protecting this shoe. So as I've mentioned before, there isn't really much reason to protect this with any kind of spray leather protector. It is that calf skin. However, the way that it has been finished with that patent means that you don't need to spray it down with anything. And the best way to protect your investment in these shoes, keep them clean, is really just by giving them a wipe down every once in a while just with water. I do recommend using a microfiber Fiber towel and that's usually what I do with all of my shoes. Microfiber is really soft and it will not abrase the leather at all. So just a little wipe down just to remove any dirt or dust that has collected on it with a microfiber towel is really all this needs to keep it looking completely fresh and new. If you do find that you get any scuffs you actually can take a pencil eraser. I have one in the other room where we keep all of our shoe cleaning things and if you just kind of give it a little bit of a rub with the eraser it usually does come off if you get a scuff just from scuffing against some stairs or something. I do find that helps. So these are going to be really really great when it comes to keeping them clean and for keeping them looking new for as long as possible.